Good afternoon, folks. Here's Joe from Jarrah's Car Reviews. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you have notifications turned on so that we know that we, so that way you know when I upload a new video. So for today's in-depth review, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2021 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 2LT. Finally got a chance to review one of these. This will be a full tour of the Corvette Stingray. I'm going to start up. I'm also going to show the engine. I'm also going to show you guys the inside as well as the outside of the car. So, that being said, here's the key. Let's go ahead and climb on in and get started. On the key, you got your lock, your unlock, your remote start to open up the front trunk and open up the rear. You have your pinning button. does have Corvette smart key access system. So just make sure the key files in your pocket and if the door is locked. And as long as you have the key inside your pocket, there's a little pad that's right underneath here. You just grab it and automatically unlock the vehicle. And the window will also tilt down a little bit to clear the frame. It's a red exterior. black leather interior power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar you have your emergency door release right here Does have push button start. You have to just put your phone on the brake, hit the button to fire it up. Beautiful sound from a 6.2 liter V8. It's got two spoke leather wrap steering wheel. Nice and tight power steering. Also has a flat a flat top and a flat bottom, making it look more of a square shape. Coming to your transmission, you have an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. So to uh, go to reverse, you just pull up. Goes up that goes into reverse. You pull up for drive, push for neutral, you push for M. You also have your backup camera, you got a slice right there. You also have your different modes, different camera views. You just push for park. Your electronic parking brake is located down there. All right, let's go ahead and call on the lights. And we'll turn on the hazards. On Mac driver side window. Check out the exterior. Gosh, I got your blind spot detection on the mirrors. You also have LED tracing mirrors. These are riding on Michelin Pilot Super Sports. 245-35ZR19, so you have 19 inch wheels. If 
you have LED headlights with the LED daytime running lights and you have your LED testing indicators. You have your LED tail lights with the LED daytime running light or your, L your LED turn signal indicators, which kind of does more of a sequential turn, which I really like. Got your Stingray logo right there. This is for your uh, rear view mirror camera, which I'll show later on in the video. Extra quad exhaust. All right, let's go and check out the back. Let's open the back. There is a release right here. Just push that. Now open it. Which will re reveal your 6.2 liter V8. And a storage compartment to where um, the roof is removable. So you can put the roof right here and these two brackets will secure the roof you have a nice amount of storage uh, back here as well come on man and uh, when you close it It'll just close by itself so you don't have to worry about slamming it. Just like that. Alright, let's go and check out the interior. Got your power windows, your power mirrors, uh, which also fold. You have your uh, door handle. You have your power door locks. You have a little bit of storage right here. All right, let's go give it a couple of revs. Very nice. 
exhaust. And if you want to make the exhaust louder, there's your different drive modes right here. You can change the sport. And I, don't, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but the, it opened the butterfly valve in the exhaust to make it sound louder. Rev it up in sport mode. This thing's a monster, man. Very nice. Shut the door. This whole thing right here is your climate control. This controls the passenger side. Or the driver's side, excuse me. This controls the driver's side. You got your temperatures. You have three stage heated and cooled seats for the driver and passenger. You have your sync, your automatic, you have your different modes. In this middle uh, button right here, controls your fan speed. You have your off, you have your off button, your AC, your recycling. You have your max front defrost, your, your rear defrost, your three stage heated and cooled seats for the passenger side. You also have your different temperatures as well. So it will take some time getting used to because it's all in this in this uh, in this section right here. You have your cup holders. You have your storage. With your two USB outlets, you have your auxiliary input. And, and back here you have your wireless phone charger. Right here, you have your touch control off. This is to lift up the uh, lift up the front. You have your front camera. So here's the home screen. Yeah, you have your audio, your phone, navigation, Wi-Fi hotspot, user settings, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You know, you have all that here. Go to audio. It is tomorrow night. A few showers with a low in the mid 60s. It's 82 and clear. You have your different stations right here. This sound pretty good. All right, so it's your phone, navigation. You have your uh, users, settings, uh, Apple CarPlay, you know, you got all that. I basically showed the screen other Chevy products. It's basically the same thing. Very nice. You got your driver info system. You have your uh, heated steering wheel, your voice command, your Bluetooth telephone. You have your cruise control. You have your Z mode, your favorites. You have your volume controls down here. You got your turn signals.
You have your wipers. You have your heads up display. You can basically adjust the height. Change the info. Then you change the brightness. Very simple, easy to use. Right there, you got your uh, your tachometer. You have your digital speedometer. In the middle, you have your gear selector. You have your temperature. You have your fuel gauge. You have your garage home link. And uh, these latches is where you can remove the you can remove the roof. There's one right here, one on the passenger side. You also have one back here. You have your automatic dimming rearview mirror. You also have your rear view camera. Interior lights. You have your OnStar, charge control off. Alright, so I guess that's it for the inside. Go put the window down. We'll check out the, the front trunk. You got my nice amount of cargo space. You have your emergency release right here. You have a 12 volt power outlet. You have your light. Also, if you want to open it from the outside, there's a button right underneath the driver's head, the driver's headlight, which is right here. Just push that, and it'll also open it for you. So there's two ways you can do it, or no, there's actually three ways. So you can open it from the inside, you can open it from that button right there, or you can open it from the key. Just push this button twice. I guess since the car is on, it won't work, but you can do it three ways. You can do it from the key, the button, or inside the door. Power window, you have a two-person memory settings, uh, power door locks, full power passenger seat. glove box and the price of this when it was new last year was seventy six thousand and twenty dollars and the standard price was sixty uh, sixty seven thousand two hundred PG 
is 15-7, 27 highway. You have your owner's manual right here. Alright, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and shut everything down. It's a beautiful car guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the full in-depth review on the 2021 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 2LT. If you're interested in buying this car at Morge Chevrolet, please contact them. I'll leave their link and the telephone number down in the description down below. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye. Stay tuned for, next, for my next video.